specialist being led by uh, Jim Weatherby, uh, followed by pilot Michael Bloomfield, uh, mission specialist Vladimir Titov, Scott Perezinski, Jean-Louis Christian, Wendy Lawrence, and David Wolf. David Wolf uh, saying his uh, final goodbyes to uh, the Kennedy Space Center team, which have been preparing the shuttle Atlantis for a launch as he makes preparations to be delivered to the Russian Mir space station, where, which will be his home for the next four months. arm is being retracted away. Uh, this is the walkway used by the crew to gain entry into and out of the vehicle. And it can be returned to position within seconds if need be. Zaragoza has gone to a forecast broken deck. Your new TAL site will be Maroon. That's site number three. Nominal aim point, nominal speed break. The altimeter there is two niner, niner, niner. Winds are zero five zero at four. Also, Ben Guerrier is going to be a go forecast. So the altitude of the broken deck at Zaragoza, and we copied everything. TRPS, OTC. 1,800 feet at Zaragoza. TRPS. Start ATU, I'd like to get the trophy quarters. Quarters running. OTC, perform APU pre-start. APU pre-start and work. And the orbiter test conductor, Jeff Loffer, is, uh, has given pilot Mike Bloomfield the go-ahead to perform the pre-start procedures for the auxiliary power units. T-minus six minutes and counting. APU pre-start complete, three great talk. And we are receiving the signal from Mission Control in Houston to start the orbiter's flight recorders. These recorders collect measurements of shuttle system performance during flight. T minus five minutes and counting. Okay, let's just go for orbiter APU start. And we have a go for APU start. APU start. Okay, let's CDR OTC reconfigure heaters. Okay, let's. Heater reconfigure complete. Copy. T-minus four minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. The solid rocket booster and external tank safe and armed devices have been armed. The main fuel valve heaters on the three shuttle main engines have been turned on in preparation for launch tonight. Minus four minutes and counting. TLS is go for part sequence four. A final test of the flight control surfaces will be conducted. This is a program pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness for launch of the engines and other flight control surfaces.
T minus three minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. And final error surface checks of the orbiter's wing ailerons and rudders are being completed. This verifies the orbiter's hydraulic systems are up and operational. And the three-min engines are being gimbled as a final test before launch. T-minus three minutes and counting. All is going well for tonight's launch. This mission carries a multinational crew of seven who will spend the next ten days in space, more than half of those days docked with the Mir space station. TLT OTC, clear caution, remembering, verify no unexpected errors. Tonight's launch should be visible to most of the southeastern coastal regions. T-minus two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Copy that, and Atlantis OTC, close and lock your visors, initiate O2 flow, have a good trip, one voyage, stop Leva, and give our best to the near crew. And everything continues to look good, and we are cleared for launch tonight. Uh, that's done work. No problems being reported from the vehicle or the crew. T minus two minutes and counting. TLS is go for ET LHT pressurization. And all systems continue to look good. We are go. 30 seconds. Atlantis is about 90 seconds from beginning its 10-day mission to dock with Russia's space station Mir. Minus one minute and counting. And we are in the process of transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Atlantis is now running off of its three onboard fuel cells. And we're coming up on a go for auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Atlantis onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. We have a go for main engine. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Atlantis, extending America's presence in space while opening new chapters in exploration. Houston now controlling. Houston now controlling. Roll, roll program initiated. Place Atlantis on its heads down track over the Atlantic. Preparing the throttle down to 67% for max Q, passing through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. Our engine's throttling down now. Seven now passing through maximum aerodynamic pressure at 58 seconds. Atlantis moving at 1,000 miles per hour now. Altitude 8.8 .8 miles, downrange 5.8 miles. Atlantis, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up and we'll ignore the fuel cell belt to the alpha. Three engines back at 104%. Now Atlantis moving at 1,600 miles per hour. 
Atlantis, that is a deucer. Copy and concur. Three good fuel cells, three good APUs, three engines running at 104%. Atlantis now moving at over 2,000 miles per hour, 18.4 miles in altitude, downrange 16 miles. About 15 seconds away from solid rocket booster separation. Atlantis moving at 2,800 miles per hour. Have solid rocket booster separation confirmed. Guidance converging. Performance nominal. Nominal performance. Performance during first stage uh, considered nominal. Now three engines running at 104% as intended. Three good APUs, three good fuel cells. Atlantis now 48 miles downrange.